So hey everyone, a lot of you have asked me, please make a video on how to revise SAS, BS, Advanced and Clinical fully. So first of all, you need to understand the topics, okay? I already made a video on SAS video syllabus or index, you can have a look. So what happened, once you know the topic, right, what topics are there in BS, Advanced and Clinical, then you can divide the topics, okay? And you can create your own note. In that you can mention day one I'll be practicing this topic let's suppose functions I'll be doing in day one or along with functions I'll be doing proc steps as well so as per your availability of time I'm not giving you specific kind of day one you should practice this much day two you, are, you should practice this much why because you can be student you can be working professional so as per your time availability the time you are having for practice okay a structure so let's suppose you are giving on an average one hour daily Okay, in any of the case, either you are student, either you are working professional. So you can easily complete the topics like day one, you can just write simply functions. So functions are three types, date and time, character and numeric. On top of that, you can even do concatenation function. Similarly, day two, you can give conditional statement. And let's suppose if you are having more time, you are student, let's suppose you are getting three hours or four hours in a day, you completed your education as well. In that case, you can add multiple topic. To get an idea how much topic I can cover in a single day. So you, what you can do, you just start practicing Okay, some topics randomly from beginning. Let's suppose you start practicing from function, then add conditional statement, then add statement and then operators. Then you'll get to know in a single day or the time I'm having. Okay, let's suppose three hours you are having in a day. Okay, that is for free. You can utilize your practice in a single day. So how much topics you are able to cover? But make sure the time you are deciding now, let's suppose three hours you are deciding and today you are going to test yourself, okay, within three hours, how much topics I'm going to cover at that particular day, okay, that particular hours, those three hours, you need to strictly dedicate to SAS, okay, and you should focus on the topic. You should keep your phone silent and totally focus on the practice part only. So let's suppose you have done the practice for three hours or two hours, the time you have decided for you as per your availability. So you got to know this much topic I'm able to revise and you already will be having some notes, okay, before revision. You can utilize those notes or in the coding window, the code you have done for practice. Now the question come, how we should do practice through making note or through with the coding window. If you are doing practice for the first time, you should do practice with the coding window, okay? Every time you should run the code in the coding window, let's suppose you are doing functions. So functions are having character, numeric, date and time. So you should practice all the character function, then date function, then numeric function, then concatenation functions as well, okay? And once you are clear with the concept, you can move to the next topic okay you can move to conditional statement and statement according to the time availability now the question comes how much days or how much time i should give for the practicing so if you are practicing for the first time you should give more time and if you are practicing for the second third or fourth time the time span should be very less it should be very quick it should be that much quick let's suppose you got an interview okay let's suppose a company called you xyz let's suppose gsk called you they, they are telling day after tomorrow or after five days your interview is there okay or after six days so your note should be in such way or you should made the format in such way that you can practice the whole thing within three days of span and that is not difficult so the first time you practice it will take more time let's suppose 10 days or 15 days that is more than enough but again you need to make a structure for practicing that you will be following for now onwards after first time so in that the time should be very less three or four days max Okay, for all the topics, SAS base, SAS advanced, SAS clinical. Now, if you are practicing it for the second, third or fourth or fifth time, at that time you should practice from notes because every time just going to coding window and just doing the coding, that is difficult. So you should make a note for all the topic. You should write all the codes, writing the code on notes, okay, on books. That is a very good habit because in coding window, you get errors, you get a lot of colors like blue, if syntax is working or syntax is proper but in notes while writing on books you don't get any colors you get, don't get any reference right once you write on notes now by default it will go to your conscious mind and you can literally remember the things as well remember the code as well so you can even remember as well even understand as well properly while writing on notes so let's suppose you are creating notes on functions so again you need to write types okay character numeric date and time then under character you can 
draw a line and you can write all the character function then under numeric all the numeric function then detent time all the detent time function then you can define each of the functions step by step give a title like character function first write scan then sub str and define the scan function give an example create a data okay write four five line of code even at the top write definition same do for sub str and same do for all other functions and all other topics now the first time you'll be creating notes it might take time but that note will be very useful guys okay whenever you are making note now that is very important as well and that is very beneficial as well because revising from notes it's too easy let's suppose you want to revise quickly you are having three days so you'll not open every time coding window and you'll be practicing each and everything but you can quickly open notes you can have a look on codes definition topics on top of that there might be questions sir can we solve some questions during the practicing part once you revise all these things okay once you revise at least for one time okay or second time then you can start adding questions as well for each of the topic okay let's suppose functions you are doing okay so in character function you should solve five question in numeric as well some five question in date and time as well you should solve some questions so that will build your logic in short term you, you should just revise the concept that is very important you should just revise the code in long term once you practice more than one time okay you are practicing for the third time at that time you should start solving questions or you should start adding questions as well because the same thing if you are revising daily you will get bored okay let's suppose if interview is there after three or four or five days so you'll be having some motivation i am preparing for the interview i'm having the notes i have already done one or two time practice because recently let's suppose interview happened now next batch of interview is going to happen after two or three months mostly it happens like this if the interview is going on in the current scenario let's suppose today or this month again the interview will come after two or three months mostly okay the interview will be not continuous back to back you'll be not getting it in a one month you'll be getting more interviews then you'll be not getting interviews for upcoming two months or three months and again you will start getting interviews interview patterns are like that so in that scenario you have that span of two or three months you are not getting interviews so at that time question solving will help you so i have already uploaded a playlist for that sas interview preparation i have already uploaded some questions over there and uh, in the coming days i am going to add some more scenario based questions okay so we'll get more idea you can try solving those questions on top of that you can collect questions from internet only on base sas advanced sas clinical sas so same you can divide the whole syllabus okay according to days day one i'll be doing this day two and day three and once you practice it for one or two time then you can create note and that note should be short notes so you can easily revise within three days of span okay let's suppose if you're getting an interview you should quickly able to revise those notes within one two or three days and then for the third time you can start including questions as well okay because you'll get bored if you are repeating again and again on top of that guys i'm going to make the next video on how to revise prepare or understand c disk as a dm and adam next video will be on that topic so hope you found this video useful and let's meet in the next video till the time bye bye everyone